Hey guys, I'm Ari Ray, and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 for the Realm Challenge. Sorry about the skip in the uh, episodes there. I skipped last week. It is mostly because of a family thing. We unfortunately had to put our eldest dog to sleep last week. And this all happened on, like, Thursday, so I was not in the mood to do any type of recording or editing that week. I was a little not, just not in the mood. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. We, we all, like, knew it was gonna happen eventually. He was 16 years old, but it still hurts. I had him since I was 10. I absolutely love that dog. So, you know, it, it was, it was a little bit of a hard hit. We were all kind of hoping, I think, that, you know, he would just maybe go peacefully on his own, but... He just got very, very sick on Thursday, and we knew that there was no way that he was going to recover from it. So we ended up having to make the decision to put him to sleep in that instance, and I was very sad. Uh, so I just did not feel up to recording, and I didn't want to bum anybody out by sounding like I was upset in the videos. So I just skipped last week. I feel better now, like I said, but and we're back in action. I don't remember what we were supposed to be doing this episode. I know that last episode we had a birthday, birthdays, if I'm not mistaken, uh, M and his son, uh, Malbic, little baby Malbic, had just grown up uh, into a toddler and to a full-blown adult. So I know that I remember that, that happened, but I don't really remember what we were getting into this particular episode or what I was planning to do. So I'm winging it. That's what we're doing. Um, I think that uh, I'm going to be definitely working on money. Again, because I certainly want to do some more lot placement, obviously. We did very, very well, and a couple episodes ago we placed down, like, a bunch of households, which is always a plus. Always, always, always a huge plus. Where are you? Why is Justine still here? I'm assuming she's still hanging out from the party, but yeah. she's just like, do you want to come inside, Did Justine? You know, you're you're welcome to. Would you like to come inside? Can we just invite her inside? I don't think we can. Um, we can form a group or ask her to leave, but I don't think I can tell her she can come inside. But oh, hold on, one sec, guys. Like I was saying, Justine, girly, what are you doing here, huh? What you doing hanging outside the house? I would invite you in, but you seem to uh, not be allowed to come inside. Alistar Cormac has heard of your process quite a logical m possess process. What the frick? I can't even read. You possess a quite a logical mind and wouldn't mind if you dropped by to pass on some of that knowledge. Tutor him and your relationship will improve. Plus, you'll be paid. Okay. You know what? In all honesty, I kind of feel like that that's something that they would ask. Like, they're not a, they're not like a noble, noble family, but they're also not like a poor family. So I imagine that because they sort of became friends that they would just be like, you know, would you give some guidance to our son? You know, just try to uh, get him in a good path and in a good place. So we'll, we'll take that. We'll do it. We also need money. So you know what? We're, we're all for that. They, that, 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 that we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to do just that. Let's put away leftovers here. But yeah, I don't remember what we were supposed to be doing this episode. Hopefully I'm not skipping something that is super important or not. Um, all of our plants are dormant, so we can't tend to them. But I think, yeah, tomatoes. Look at that, guys. Tomatoes. I don't think we've ever had tomatoes before. I'm excited. Aw. That's great. But yeah, our plants are dormant. Maybe they'll wake up a little bit later today. But for now, I'm going to clean off the house. And I guess we're going to head out with M to go uh, tutor some of the neighborhood kids. Maybe we'll get the girls out just to go have some fun too. You know, I like to uh, take them out, let them have some fun. I also think I asked a poll before about sending her to um, boarding school at some point just to experience that or, or see about that. And I think we were some some people gave the suggestion of waiting until we had like a dock lot or something like that where we have like ships and we've established that relationship with uh other countries type of things almost in a way where it's kind of like she's going to distant lands and stuff like that so i think that's acceptable so we'll probably do something similar to that so for now though i'm gonna get everybody going for the day i uh like i said i don't have too many plans we're gonna work on money building we're gonna try to clean up this friggin house and uh Let's see what we can get ourselves into today. Alrighty guys, so I had Emmerich take a ride over here to the Cormac house, which is where Alistar lived. This is Alistar, right? Hey, he's home. Perfect. You're just the guy I wanted to talk to. Report on the progress. Wait, how can I report on progress to him? I'm supposed to tutor him, correct? 
tutor him. Yes. How do I do that? Do I just start tutoring him? Do I get friendly with him first? I'm not exactly sure what I need to do, but, um, more ask him about our, do I, are they friends? Hold on, let me enthuse about music. Maybe I need to, like, become better friends with him or something before I can tutor him or whatever. But I thought that I'd just go ahead and get uh, Emmerich over here while, um, you know, the day is still young. And we can see if we can go ahead and knock out this tutoring thing out of the way. Um, the girls were at home doing their homework, but I have her going to visit her uncle's house because I want her to get in good with her cousins. You know, I definitely want to stay well established with Jeremy's family. Look, okay? Look, all right? I I I, we, I don't have time for these shenanigans. Okay, come here. I'm I want to speak to you, young man. You will talk to me. All right. I don't have time for this. Okay, we don't have time for this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Let's have a chit chat with him and see. We're friends. Oh look, his dad's home. What's up, my dude? Um, can we actually do anything? Can we not tutor him? How do we tutor people? I don't even actually know how that works. How do I tutor him in something? Do I have to like tutor him in an actual thing? Like do I have to like play chess with him? How, how do I tutor? Does this tell me how to tutor? Tutor Alistar and the relationship will improve plus you'll be paid. But I, I don't think I can tutor him though. I wouldn't think I'd get this thing if I couldn't tutor him, but... I also don't see the option to tutor him in anything. Like, M's logic is level six. Can he tutor people now? One eternity later. Okay, so M's been talking to this guy for a little while, and they're really, really friendly with each other, but I don't have the option to tutor him at all, so I'm not sure how tutoring works. I suppose I should have known that before I actually, uh, you know, agreed to do this, but... I thought that it would just be as simple as like clicking on them and saying, hey, let me tutor you, but I guess I was wrong about that, um, because it's not there. The option is not there. Please get off of the rocking chair. I don't like you to rock all day long because you just, all of your, uh, motives go up and like they never, they never drain. Oh, she did come in, um, she meaning Justine. I was hoping she would. I didn't know why she was just hanging out outside. Like, if she's gonna be here, then she should be here. Oh, she's stir crazy. Do you want to go to the park with you? Did she go visit her, her cousins? Oh, she's leaving. Meaning that they probably left the house. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. They are probably gone for the day. Is this them out here? Nope, it's a horse, and that is Oros. Okay, that's the paladin. Let's just go to, um, the park then. Oh, check it out. There's a lot of people here at the park today. But what about the festival? Anybody there at the festival today? I forgot to look into if there's a mod where I can get rid of these outfits because they are hideous. But it looks like most people are here at this park over here. So why don't we just come here? And you know what? I'm gonna make your grandma come here too so she can keep an eye on you. Um, mama's at home with the baby. She'll be fine. They'll be fine today. So, I think, bail. We're gonna go somewhere else then. If we can't really tutor you right now, then maybe we'll just go and see if we can find some goodies out and about the world like we used to. Yeah? Um, what about over here? Is there anything over here? Uh, your dad used to find a bunch of good stuff over here. We used to make so much money. You have your dad's stuff? Elia has it. Can I give this to him? Uh, let me see. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. Can I give this to him? I can! Great. Let's start tracking some stuff. You know what? I want another bird. I don't know what happened to my bird. I'm, I was really upset that the game got rid of my bird. Okay, I had the bird. We were taking good care of our bird. And the bird disappeared. I was very sad about that. And I want I want another bird. And I, I can't see them. They don't spawn anymore. So I'm a little bit sad uh, that we don't get any birds anymore but i definitely don't see any right now so that is also sad let me just change this then to be rocks and gems maybe anything anything at all Ooh, looks like it might not be much around it's so early spring like we're still just barely getting into spring so maybe but i mean 
I don't know. I feel like there should be more. I'm gonna have him ride out here, though, and I guess dig around for a while. Just to see what he can find, since, um... I guess I can't tutor this guy. I, I, I'll, I'll try to look it up or something, but I might have to just ditch that mission. I mean, I was gonna do it, and I made it out there, and I found him, but I couldn't tutor him, and that's weird. Like, I don't know what that's about. And that's a rock right there. How come I couldn't see it? Okay, so Emmerich made it over here. Perfect, perfect. Let's hop off of... Oh my god, I was gonna call him Zeo Fireball's back. Not Zeo. Oh my goodness. Um, and let's just go ahead and do some digging around over here. I see that one right there. Was there more over here? I feel like there was more. But maybe I was wrong. Well, there's that one. There's this one. Let's just see what you can get your hands on. Uh, it's probably more efficient for you to write books. But, um... Hey, sometimes... Sometimes we like to get a little dirty, okay? We like to go out to the nitty-gritty and do uh, some dirty work occasionally, so I think we're fine. But he's gonna dig up at least those two and uh, go for it. And then let's go and check on the kitty bopper because I had her go- oh, she's home. I thought I had to go to the park. Okay, well, I guess she didn't want to go to the park. Your aunt's here, though. Let's talk to Justine. Let's see how she's doing. How are you, Justine? How you been? Girl, you've just been hanging out here. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. It's just weird that you've been hanging out here so long, you know? And you, Missy, is anybody at the park your age that we can chat with and talk to and have fun with? Oh, look, your other cousin's here. And, oh, Blackjack is here, too. One of the horses that I put out there. Oh, look, this is... Constance. Oh, it's their triplets. They've aged up into chill toddlers. Oh, man, that's gonna be a lot of sims I gotta give makeovers to. But everybody's in the park apparently playing music. I'm gonna have to go visit the Marins at some point then um, when all of their babies are at home. But apparently everybody scatters like throughout the day. I mean, it's a good thing because it's like the world's like alive, I guess, or like awake because they don't just hang out at their houses all day. But still, you know, it, it would be it would be nice if they would stay still for at least five minutes so I could give them makeovers and stuff like that. But we'll we'll get there. We'll we'll get there. I guess I'll just chill for the rest of the day then. Um, she's chatting with her aunt. She's just outside. Do you want to practice writing? I don't think you ever practice writing. Why don't you try it? Can we not get on the horse? I thought you could ride horses as a teenager. Was I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh, she can't ride it. Oh, this is not... Well, that's Ripley! I didn't even notice that that was... <laughs> wasn't one of our horses. That is uh, the Marin's horses. That's Ripley. I was not paying attention. I was not at all. This is Ghost and Jackrabbit over here, and he took... Um, fireball with him out. So let's see, who can you ride? You want to ride your mom's horse? Why don't you try riding Ghost? All right, let's see, and let's try to get you a little bit of riding skill. You're talking with your aunt, but then why don't I guess you come over and practice some chess just to have some fun. Grandma's out listening to some music in the park, just relaxing. He's out digging up some stuff, and I don't know how to tutor this kid. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, he found an Egyptian sarcophagus. Oh, look, he's finding some decent stuff. Look at you taking after your dad. Let me see, where did Alistar go? That's not him either. Where where did this kid go? He's somewhere. Here he is. So, like, if I click him, I don't have the option to tutor him. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I don't know if I don't have enough uh, logic skill, but I feel like they wouldn't give me this mission if I didn't have the logic skill. $870! Go, Emmerich! Okay, I'm all for it, but yeah. So I don't, I don't exactly know what's going on with that. No, don't get off of the horse. I want you to ride a little bit. I want you to practice. Can you practice? Uh, she needs to improve her skill. Can I take... Can you go for a ride? Let me just let her ride a brief moment. Ouch. Let's just ride, like, to here and back, Okay. It's not far. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Yeah, she has one of the other babies. Look, she has... Je uh, oh my god. She has Jean. Aw, so cute. I'm gonna have to give them all makeovers because they're looking weird. Looking real. She has blonde hair. She does. She has her mom's blonde hair. Okay. I'm fine with it, I guess. But she's riding 
over here. We're gonna get some practice skill. I think I'm just gonna have him head home after he's done uh, digging. And I guess we'll just move on until the next day because didn't really get much done today. I, I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't get much done. I was gonna do that other thing, but it didn't seem to work out. Is this Jeremy and his family here at the park? Because I was looking for you guys and you weren't at home. But it looks like it is them here at the park, so... Maybe we can track them down. Oh, it's the lady who has no body. Okay, I really think I should fix her. You know what? I'm gonna do some makeovers and I think we're gonna end the day shortly after that. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Ah, uh, don't you love the sound of toddlers being potty trained in the morning? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back. So, uh, like I said, I was gonna do- I did a couple makeovers last night. Uh, I think I lost where Madeline went with the other baby, but I gave one of their daughters a makeover, and I gave a makeover to the, um, young squire girl who is now a teenager whose body was invisible because that was weird. So I gave a couple makeovers last night before they went to bed, but other than that, the rest of the night was pretty mundane like I kind of thought it would be. I think today what we're going to do is work a little bit on um, some more skill building, money making stuff uh, for the rest of this episode. I really do want to restock pile back up on the money. We dropped pretty low after we bought all those houses, but I definitely want to be able to place our new warden soon so that we can move on to the Magic Kingdom because that's the next warden that we want to be able to do. I got to make sure that I got that warden's uh, design. Oh my god, I went into the ground. Is that Mal's ghost? Mal, oh my god, Mal, hello. Oh, look at him, guys, all ghostly and Mal-like in this lot. It's glitched out because I didn't mean to go here, but... It's so good to see him again. Spooky haunt in the household. We love it. We love it. But, um, yeah. So, we definitely gotta play some more. I think we gotta play some more households. I'm not sure, and I do this all the time, but we- I think we have enough here. Because we have the Willets, the Sturks, uh, the people who live in the inn, who I count as, like, one household, but there's technically just, like, three individual sims in there, but I'm gonna count them as one household. We have this family here, that's- that's four. And then we have, uh, the Estradas are getting married. We also have our other family out here, which we gotta give his twins a makeover, too. We have the Reyes. Where is your son? Like, it's- 8 a.m. Where is your kid? Okay, so we basically have the five households for this one and not to mention we do have the Estradas who live out in the outskirts here in Shantytown. I do want to play some more even just empty lots out here just to give some sims some more spaces to move around on their own. You know, I want to encourage them to also do their own moving. So we're on lockdown in this particular area over here with all of the households and then over in this area over here, I think we need two more. I count the Marins. They count as a household of their own. They are a household, despite them being uh, a warden. They are a household. Or did I say that they don't count? I don't remember. Either way it goes, I think we need two more households over here, which we have prepared. We just don't have them placed yet. So we need to get the money to put those two households over here, and then we will be able to call the Stone Kingdom with enough population in it so that we can then proceed with um placing our magic kingdom warden which i'm looking forward to i'm super excited about so that's what we're gonna start definitely pushing forward a lot so emmerich's already up this morning heading straight on into his office to get some work done you know uh in other words i'm gonna have him writing because i definitely want him to try to be stockpiling that doski we want the money you guys um I also have Elia was in here just taking care of her grandbaby. He's doing good now. So could you move out the way and let her clean this up? But I think we're definitely going to be focusing on the skill building. She's still asleep. I think I'm going to have her doing some painting. The kids are up. She's taking a bath. Going to get her doing your homework and stuff. But yeah, we're going to be working on some skill building stuff. I think the girls might... I might have... Um, Iona work a little bit more on her writing skill. She got one point in writing yesterday, which was really cool. And um, I think I might maybe get her out with some of the horses again. But for Griff, she was working on her, um, she was working on her logic skill yesterday. So maybe I'll start introducing her a little bit to the painting skill. Why not? Doesn't hurt. You know, her mom's a painter. It's something for her to do. She could also start learning an instrument at a young age. 
That's something that she could do. Just uh, some skills that she could pick up as a young lady. What are her traits? Okay, she's nurturing, unflirty, and adventurous. I kind of feel like she'd be out and about, though, any chance she could get. But her parents would definitely be trying to encourage her to do, you know, logical things and music and art and stuff like that. But she would definitely still want to go out and about. We're also expecting another baby, which I keep forgetting about because, you know, Risky Woohoo was set way too high, apparently. And uh, you can't eat those watermelon pancakes because we don't want to influence the baby's gender. But um, I'm going to have her go eat some waffles this morning. And we need to be picking baby names. So I think, uh, looking at her tum tum, I don't know when she's going to have it. But I think I'm going to pick baby names at the beginning of next episode. Pretty sure it's not going to be this episode, guys. Don't worry about it. But um, I'm going to be picking some baby names at the beginning of next episode. And that'll be their fourth baby. Uh, baby number four. Are you going to put him inside of that thing over there? Okay, people just forget that he's in there a lot. So just don't forget him in there. People are going to forget him. You know what? Don't do that. Let's put him upstairs. I mean, it's fine, but like people just forget he's in there all the time. And then he's in there forever, you know? So I'm going to have her put him upstairs. So that's the plan this episode. Uh, she's working on her homework. He's working on his book. I'm going to get these two ladies working on some more artwork, I think. Iona's going to probably work a little bit on writing since she can... Oh, she does have a little bit of art. She does know just a smidge of art. So we're going to probably get her doing a little bit more art at some point too. But because she's a teenager and she can ride, we're definitely going to try to introduce her a little bit with riding. Just to be a decent rider. She doesn't have to be an expert rider like her dad, but she should be decent at it. So I think that's going to be our focus with her today. So that's the plan, guys. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. But let's get into the swing of things. Okay, so the day has been going smoothly and quietly like I expected it to, but we have this painting here and we can actually go deliver it to get, I think, some money or something? I honestly don't even remember what the reward is, but we can deliver some painting and it might be worth, hopefully it's worth more than what this painting is actually worth. Like, the painting itself is worth $2,000. So... If we go deliver this painting and they don't give us at least 2000 then it's not worth it. And I will be very upset. <laughs> but um, let's let her actually practice with her mom's painting. Thing. Can you go, please? Or is this like not something that you're going to do unless I follow you? Sometimes I found that my sims don't do things unless I watch them do it. She also got this award ribbon from the city for being a painter. I'm just going to get rid of it because it doesn't really fit the house and I don't really want to put it up in the house anywhere so just gonna ditch it but um yeah i found that sometimes my sims won't actually do what i ask them to do unless i watch them uh emmerich is writing another book she's out for a ride with ghosts and doing very well but she's getting a little chilly so i might have her head home here very soon um but she's just been out trying to get her writing skill up which she's been doing quite well on so we're proud of little Iona. Oh my god, she's growing up so much. Elia competed a freaking masterpiece. That's what I'd like to see. It's worth $4,000 and we're going to sell it right now because heck yeah, that's why. Um, will you start another one for me, darling? Thank you. And she's improved to level 2, so why don't you just start heading home because I don't want you to be out too, too late. And let me just watch your mom because I feel like she won't do this unless I watch her do it because she seems to be quite defiant today. Actually, is the garden awake? Because it was asleep. It, nope, it's still dormant. Okay. Well, our plants are dormant for a while now. Uh, but I'm going to go with her to deliver this painting. Hopefully, we'll get more than 2000 If we don't, I'll be upset because I could have sold it for more money. And, you know, that that would be a bummer. Uh, oh, oh, look at her go! Freaking Iona! Oh, yeah, she's got that horse riding stuff down packed. Oh, look, it's um Amos! So cute! She's practicing today, though. Tomorrow's Saturday, so she sh we're going to give her the day off. Like, you know, she's, she's in training today, trying to uh, make sure she's got her stuff together, but... Uh, tomorrow she's gonna get the day off and we're gonna let her I'm gonna make it a point to try to go find her cousin tomorrow I don't think she's done her homework. So why don't you work on that? See you see how she stopped in the middle of what she was supposed to be going to go do because you know Aren't you supposed to be getting married soon? It said she was engaged. Hopefully she does actually get married. Yo, my dude, here's the painting that you wanted. Give me more money than what it's worth, or I shall smite you. 
Oh, 9,000. Okay, you know what? I'm happy about that. That was worth it. It was worth it. Um, enjoy your painting, Adderwolf Holidor. You can, I don't know why you are a celebrity, but you are. It's really weird. Like, he's like the thief of the family, and he's a celebrity. So I don't really know why that is, but y'all house is dirty. Um, you should probably clean it up. But uh, I'm happy about that. Let's get you home now because it's going to take you forever to walk home with your pregnant Wallen belly. Um, we're going to get her back home. But that was awesome. Ten uh, apparently, we now are turning into celebrities. I mean, that's fine. I, I mean, they're technically noble or royal, so they should probably have star love. If anybody has celebrity status, it should probably be them. Um... I don't really mind it. I, if people start snapping like pictures of them using a phone, which is annoying, I'm probably going to get rid of it. I did I did remove paparazzi by default, just because one, I hate the paparazzi, and two, because it doesn't fit with this world, so there is no paparazzi, but I mean, Snare. I'll leave them a celebrity as they slowly gain it, because she's one, that means her family is slowly going to start becoming celebrities too, so... You know, I'm going to see what happens. If it starts to annoy me, I will get rid of their celebrity star levels just as a heads up to everybody there. Because I typically, they being celebrities annoys me in this game. Because you could be in the middle of trying to do something and people want to take like pictures of you, which is stupid uh, and annoying, especially in this medieval world. So if people start trying to like, you know, take pictures on their phones of my Sims all the time, I'm going to remove their celebrity star status. But for now, I will let them gain it up. It makes sense. At this point, we have quite a few people out and about in town. They are the uh, noble lord family of the land who pretty much own the land and have been, you know, expanding upon who gets to stay here, helping the families that live here, you know, giving them loans, helping them build houses. They pay taxes to this family. They are pretty much the monarch of the family, though, like I said, I... I'm still hesitant to call them kings just yet. Like, I don't I, I, I don't think that Emmerich sees himself as, like, a king necessarily. But he is definitely, like, uh, the, the, the lord of the land right now. So, um, we're working our way to probably getting to that status of being called, like, kingly. But I think that we're going to hold off on this generation of calling them kings and queens and stuff like that just yet uh, i don't even know if i will actually ever call them that but i mean obviously they're gonna be like royalty in this world uh but i mean i won't name them that title is what i mean if that makes any sense like i'm not gonna change their name to like king whatever this is gonna be what we canonically call them in our heads but that's for the future me to think about um for now you missy your sister's working on a painting Oh my god, it's actually really good. You didn't even have any skill in painting. And she's like, bam, look at this picture. But um, she wants to gain more of the writing skill. Yes, indeed we can. I am all for it. Uh, your father's writing a book uh, and it's doing well. Why don't you also practice some painting? Uh, your mom is probably going to tend to the baby. And I think... I know honestly we can probably end the episode here because it's getting close to the end of the day and I don't expect to do much of anything from here on out uh, except for making them do this. But before we do end the episode, I do want to sell what Emmerich found in his inventory. And we can actually get this stuff analyzed now because we have Logan's kingdom active. So we can actually do all of this stuff. I can just ditch this money bag, uh, but we can actually get all this stuff done. So take a break really quick, M, please. Uh, actually, you're getting a little stressed out anyway, so why don't you take a short break and analyze all this stuff and let's sell it and see how much it's worth. Oh, her painting was worth $3. I'm proud of you. Oh my God, it's worth a thousand. Yes, indeed. Why don't we sell that? Because I don't really want it. But I'm still yeah. proud of you. <gasps> Yay, somebody's having a baby. <laughs> Sylvie and Adam Wolf are having a baby. Yay. I'm excited about that. I've been waiting for this game to push by the Sims to have babies. Yay. You guys, Sims in the town are expecting a baby. I'm excited about that. Yay, yay, yay. I am actually over the moon. I'm, I've been waiting for some of those messages to pop up and I've been like, oh my god, is this whole generation of Sims that I've moved in here, like, 
gonna die off without having any kids and then I gotta move in even more families because they're not populating like I want them to do but no I just needed to be patient I just needed to be patient because they are now expecting babies I'm excited okay let's sell though what Emmerich has in his inventory and that's a good point to leave the episode you know what you can play your violin go for it because we just got good news that the Atta Wolves are expecting a baby, so I'm excited about that. So let's sell that. That's worth 2,000. I'll take it. And this is only worth 105, and that's worth nothing. But we're up to 84,000, so not bad. Not bad at all, actually, you know? Uh, you are hungry. Would you like to give your brother a bottle? That would be nice of you to do. Um, I think we're going to do just that. Oh my gosh, why can't I actually select or click on him? And my game is slowly lagging, which I don't like. So I am going to end the episode here and save this game because I just got good news. And if it crashes now and it doesn't happen again, next time I have to play through this, I will be upset. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or a don't. That's up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of The Sims 3 for the Realm Challenge here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.